Let's all go to the movies. Let's all go to the Good morning, Movie Mom. How are you? I'm fine. I missed you last week. We missed you so much. I'm not going anywhere. All right, great. All right. Lots of stuff happening. Let's start with Deepwater Horizon. The last time this director, Peter Berg, and this actor, Mark Wahlberg, worked together, it was a very successful lone survivor. And for this movie, which is about the explosion of the BP oil rig in the Gulf of Mexico, he really keeps it incredibly tense. Mark Wahlberg, absolutely terrific. Kurt Russell is great. And for the first time, Kurt Russell is appearing in a movie with his daughter, Kate Hudson, although they don't have any scenes together. My only objection to the movie is that it's really sort of almost like, you know, a a typical disaster movie. Will they get out of the oil rig alive? And it doesn't really look into the issue of, and then what happens when they've spilled hundreds of millions of gallons of oil into the Gulf, and who's responsible at the corporate level and all of that. It's a little chilly. John Malkovich is a good bad guy. So nice action movie. Mike, what is that? Is everything okay? Deepwater Horizon. And then we've got Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I have been a little off of Tim Burton. I thought his last Alice in Wonderland movie, Through the Looking Glass, was terrible. So I was very relieved that this one was more like, say, Harry Potter or the X-Men than like Alice. A bunch of kids with special powers who go to a special school. If that doesn't sound a little bit like Harry Potter. The special effects are absolutely great. The visuals are wonderful. Now, this is not for the little, little kids. It's rated PG-13. It's kind of grotesque. There's some wartime violence and time traveling and complicated stuff, so I would say middle school and up, particularly for fans of the books, which are great. Masterminds, Zach Galifianakis and Kristen Wiig in a comedy heist movie based on a true story. This movie was on the shelf for a couple of years, and you will see why when you see the movie. Definitely wait for DVD. And then we talked before about Queen of Cotway with Lupita Nyong'o, the true story of an African girl who became an international chess champion, but it's expanding to a lot more theater, so I just want to remind parents that that's a really good one for the fans. Or you could stay home and watch one of the funniest movies of the year, Central Intelligence with The Rock and Kevin Hart playing the straight man. Even if you're a total geekazoid, I would not recommend Warcraft. Just (laughs) so stupid. Um, Even on on DVD, huh? Even on DVD. Because the one thing it had going for it was like the look and the special effect. Go play a game of Warcraft. Don't watch this (laughs) stupid movie. Next week, super excited. We've got The Girl on the Train. I read the book. I cannot wait to see the movie. I did too. Whoa. I know, I read a book. <laughs> <laughs> also, next week, we've got The Birth of a Nation, which everyone says is definite an Oscar nomination. The true story of the slave rebellion led by Nat Turner. And another one for kids next week, middle school, the worst years of your life. As far as I'm concerned, that is a 100% accurate statement. <laughs> uh, and I look forward to seeing the movie. I want pictures, movie mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You can catch this interview up at WJBQ.com, where we always have a link to moviemom.com. So glad to have you back. Yes, it now now the week feels normal. <laughs> have a great weekend, Movie Mom. We'll catch up with you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.